Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. Make sure to stick to the end of the video where I have a bonus problem for you guys to solve as well. Alright, so we have 1000 squared minus 999 squared. And I actually have two methods to solving this problem. So the first method is, well, we start with 1000 squared minus 999 squared and then 999 this is the same thing as 1000 minus 1 so now I'm going to replace 999 with 1000 minus 1 so now I have 1000 squared minus 1000 minus 1 squared Now, if I have something in the form a minus b squared, or sorry, yeah, if I have something in the form a minus b squared, this is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is equal to 1000 and b is equal to 1. So this is going to equal. 1,000 squared minus 1,000 squared minus 2 times 1,000 times 1 plus 1 squared. And now this is equal to 1,000 squared minus 1,000 squared plus 2,000 minus 1. Now 1,000 squared and 1,000 squared, these two will cancel out, so all I'm left with is 2,000 minus 1, which is equal to 1,999. Now my second method to solving this problem, well we again start with 1,000 squared minus 999 squared. And now, last time I said I replaced 999 with 1000 minus 1. This time I'm going to replace 1000 with 999 plus 1. So now I have 999 plus 1 squared minus 999 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a plus b squared, this is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is equal to 999 and b is equal to 1. So this would be 999 squared plus 2 times 999 times 1 plus 1 squared. And then I have my minus 999 squared at the end. Now this is equal to, these two will cancel out, so I'll be left with 2 times 999 times 1 plus 1 squared. Now 2 times 999 is 1998, so I have 1998 plus 1. And this is equal to 1999. Alright, so I have 3111 squared plus 2889 squared. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as 3000 plus 111 squared plus 3000 minus 111 squared. Now, I'm going to set A equal to 3000. And I'm going to set B equal to 111. So now, if I substitute these in, I get A plus B squared plus A minus B squared. Now, A plus B squared, this is equal to A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. 
and a minus b squared. This is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So now, if I add these two together, I get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared plus a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So first off, these two will cancel out, and I'll be left with a squared plus b squared plus a squared plus b squared, which is equal to 2a squared plus 2b squared. Now if I factor out 2 from this, I get 2 times a squared plus b squared. Now remember how we set a equal to 3000 and b equal to 111. So now if I substitute these values back into here, I get 2 times a squared, so 3000 squared plus b squared, so 111 squared. Now 3000 squared, this is the same thing as 3000 times 3000, right? And you may think this is hard because it's a four digit number times a four digit number, but we can actually for now ignore the zeros and we can just do three times three. So that would give us nine, right? And then we simply add all these zeros after. So we're gonna add one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. So one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. So our answer here is gonna be nine million. So now I have two times nine million plus 111 squared. Now for 111 squared, this is equal to 111 times 111. Now, if we try to do this, one times one is one, 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 one. So I have one, two, three, two, one, which is our answer. Now, 9 million plus 12,321 is going to be 9 million, two times, sorry, two times 9012321. And this is going to equal 18,024,600 and, oops, sorry, 18,024,642. So this is our answer. Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 2 to the power of x is equal to 0. Now what I'm first going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 0. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is equal to b times log a, because I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this is actually an important property of logarithms, and I'm gonna use this property on log two to the power of x. So I'm going to simply move this x to the front of the logarithm. So now I would have x times log 2 is equal to log 0. Now we want to isolate x, obviously. So I'm going to divide both sides by log 2. So then these two cancel out, and I would have x is equal to log 0 over 
log two. However, log zero over log two, this is equal to, first off, log two is equal to 0 0.301. However, log zero, this is actually undefined. Log zero is undefined, meaning x is also undefined because you can't divide an undefined number over 0 0.0. 301. So this means that the value of x is undefined.